¿Cómo estás, amigo? My name is Pseudomonas Erginosa. And let me tell you why. I sell suits made of money. And I'm from Argentina. Let me show you my store. Hey, welcome to our seat on Pseudomonas Erginosa, represented by this guy. He's the suit money guy. He sells suits made of money, as you can see, the suit's made of money, and he's from Argentina. So this scene is gonna be on Pseudomonas Erginosa. He's sort of like a rod, and he's red. The red is to help remember gram negative, because it stains reddish in gram staining, so to, to it's thin peptide like I can wall. And it's a bacillus, it's like a rod, you see he's like a rod. Now, you see he's got a cap on over here. This cap is gonna help us remember the polysaccharide capsule that Pseudomonas Erginosa has, which is an important virulence factor. You also see that he's holding an oxygen mask. The oxygen mask is to help us remember that it's an obligate aerobe. You might have noticed that he's standing on top of a pie. It's not any pie, it's a pie that's sighing. A pie that's sighing. Tops, remember, pyocyanin. That's because Pseudomonas aeruginosa secretes pyocyanin pigment, which is a blue-green in color, and hence the blue-green colors. And it has a grape odor, and that's why there's this random nose over here smelling grapes. Tops, remember, that the pyocyanin has this grape odor. Now let's take a look at his store. You might have noticed the cat and the ox sticking their heads out the windows. They're staring at the suits. So the cat is to help us remember catalase positive, and the ox is to help us remember oxidase positive. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is both catalase and oxidase positive. You might have also noticed that there's Pseudomonas aeruginosa so over here. There aren't two of him. He's just extremely motile. He can travel from here to here really quickly, because Pseudomonas aeruginosa is quite motile. We'll discuss soon why he's standing in a pool of water. Before I go further, just I want to point out, we don't see any milk in the scene. That's because Pseudomonas aeruginosa is not lactose fermenting. That distinguishes it from other gram-negative bacteria. Now, Pseudomonas aeruginosa guy, he puts these random things around of his store, as you can see. Lots of things which we'll discuss. And the reason why he does this is to attract customers. Now, it doesn't really draw any customers, and that's why we don't see any here. But it helps us discuss and remember the different features of Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So let's do that. So let's look at this part of the store. We see this machine over here. This is actually not part of his tactic to get customers. This is actually something that he needs. This is his elongation machine. He puts the suits in here and it elongates them, or for our purposes, elongation factor. And he put an A block on top of it. I don't know why he did that, but that actually broke it. This helps us remember that Pseudomonas aeruginosa has exotoxin A, which ADP ribosylates factor two, elongation factor two in host cells, causing inability to synthesize proteins. So we had his uncle the gnome come up here. This gnome came up in a bunch of different videos. He helps remember pneumonia because Pseudomonas aeruginosa can infect in lungs, causing a diffuse bronchopneumonia. And the sisters that are stuck to each other on top of them are here to help us remember cystic fibrosis. Individuals with cystic fibrosis are at particular risk for Pseudomonas infection in the lungs. Now, if you note, there are these gang of eggs over here. The egg gang. The egg gang is gonna help us remember the ecthyma gangrenosa, purple black skin lesions. And these are rapidly progressive necrotic cutaneous lesions associated with Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The gnome here actually has an ear infection, otitis externa, also known as swimmer's ear. This is a result of Pseudomonas aeruginosa infection. We see two more diseases over here. He put a furnace on top of his store with a hand going inside of it. Don't worry, a fake hand getting burned. Because Pseudomonas aeruginosa is the most common cause of infection in burn injuries, and it leads to hemorrhage and necrosis. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is associated with osteomyelitis in IV drug users. That's why I have this syringe here, and this guy getting his IV drug to help us remember the IV drug use, and puncture wounds in the foot, and that's why it's specifically in the foot. Diabetics are a particular risk, and that's why we have this dyed bead melon, dyed bead melon for diabetes mellitus, to help us remember that those with diabetes mellitus are a particular risk. You may have noticed that he put a swimming pool next to his store. That's because he really likes to swim. This swimming pool is going to help us remember that Pseudomonas aeruginosum is a water-loving organism and is transmitted through infected water sources. It is a common cause of hot tub folliculitis. And in fact, if you notice, on top of the furnace, we actually had a hot tub of water. To help us remember, the hot tub folliculitis. He decided to stick this hospital equipment over here to help us remember the urinary tract infections. This helps us remember the urinary tract infections associated with Pseudomonas aeruginosum. And while we're talking about medical equipment, it's important to note that it's a frequent colonizer of medical devices, such as catheters. And it can cause nosocomial urinary tract infections. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is implicated in corneal infections in contact lens users, and that's why we find this bacteria guy, <laughs> the Pseudomonas guy, inside the contact lenses every year. 
In back of the store over here, he has a campfire. A campfire to help us remember the treatment. C for carbapenems. I think that I pronounce it. A for aminoglycosides. M for monobactams. P for polymyxins. F for fluoroquinolones. R for third and fourth cephalosporins. And E for extended spectrum penicillins. Okay, so that was actually a first aid mnemonic. I put the fire here just to make it more memorable. I hope you enjoyed this extremely weird video. Take care.